So, uh, is this the first session back since the game? Yeah, yeah. Day off yesterday. So, what what was the session all about? Today, mm. uh, we did a bit of um, bit of gym, and a uh, every six weeks or so, we do the um, a version of like the beep test. I can't remember the name of it. What's it? Yo-yo test. Right. We did like a four minute yo-yo test just to check the uh, how the recovery is going on heart rate because um, they test if you, your heart rate's dropping enough and quickly enough. And then we just did a little bit of uh, probably 15 minutes on field, just a bit of skill stuff. Um, and then we've got a video session this afternoon and normal training. Okay. So just going back on um, Saturday night, how did you see the performance and where do you think the game has won? Uh, I think it was a really uh, good all-round performance. It was a good team performance. Um, obviously, uh, Riley stole the headlines with, um, with two goals, but uh, I don't think anyone uh, played poorly. We all uh, did really well. and limited their chances and at the same time we had a lot of chances and played good football so really happy. You sort of you strangled Melbourne high I mean that seems to be his game plan to strangle teams in their half and then you took obviously the lead I saw him get a little bit frustrated I sensed that he didn't like you bombing those long balls diagonally so much in the game he wanted you to keep the ball a little bit more would that be would that be right? Yeah no he, he uh, wants us to play football he wants us to be brave and um, for instance, I think there was one time in particular I remember uh, in the first half we had a free kick and I, th I think it went long and I think I did, I did notice yeah, he, he gets frustrated that he wants you to play it around and play good football so uh, it's something we want to do as well when we can. Is this message simple? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, the, there's, football can be complex with the, the whole defensive structures and how we want to go forward but um, in the end we just want to play football. So. And you're working well with, obviously, Jakobsen. I think you two are the key. Actually, the whole spine of the team seems to be the, f the whole foundation of, of, of the play. Is that you settled in now? Obviously, Elsie had that position. He got injured. You've come in. Looks like it's yours for now. Is it yours to keep now for the rest of the season? Or are you going to hand it back? <laughs> I don't think... Uh, I don't like... To, I'll use another cliche here. One game at a time. Because okay. um, we've seen uh, he can rotate and he can put which player he wants to put for each game in each situation so yeah, we'll just take it one game at a time. <laughs> right. So I look, I look back at history six games in it's one of the better starts. Um, three years ago I think you had the worst start in like winning the double. Yep. So does, does this mean anything? Your game, your six games into the season it's round, round eight now because you had the bye but does, does this mean anything at this stage of the season? Look it's it's, it's good that we're in good form. We won um, four on the trot in the league, so it's, it's great. Uh, we just want to continue that momentum. Those points will be really valuable come the end of the season. And I think, uh, as you've seen in previous years, it's just, it's important you hit, um, hit your peak come finals time. But um, yeah, you've got to put yourself in a good position to be near the top, to be in the finals too. So uh, we'll just, just um, push forward as best we can at the moment. And what are you expecting Sunday? Wellington, it's a late afternoon game. Obviously they're going to be buoyed by their um, they win on the weekend. Yes. So what are you expecting them to do? Uh, listen, I've, I've watched a bit of their gameplay and I'm sure we'll do some more video stuff today, but uh, they're, they're playing pretty well. They're, they're pretty well structured. And um, But we've got two home games coming up and we need to make the most of them and we've got good form, so I can't see any reason uh, why we can't push for a win. How about you? You're gonna, you're gonna keep going here? Because I you think your contract runs out end of May? Yeah, I'll keep going, keep going. Am so I doing all right? Are you, uh, yeah, Back's no, still no, good, but yeah. You, uh, I'll say. <laughs> but have you re-signed? Is there anything being tabled? Have you triggered any clauses uh, in the contract? Not yet, not yet. So let's we'll see, see what happens now. But you're not going to go anywhere, are you? Uh, not at the moment. I'm contracted this season, so, yeah. What are you thinking about leaving? Me? <laughs> Who said that? Did you say that? <laughs> you got a deal for me somewhere? <laughs> Uh, all good, mate. Yeah. Uh, Nicky, what do you think has been key to this four-game winning streak in the league? Um, what's been key? I mean, it's uh, it's not just one thing. It's it's not just one week's preparation. It's been the whole pre-season, the way we want to set up, um, uh, led by the coach and, and the players themselves. It's, yeah, it's not just one thing. Even the first two games that we lost um, of the season are a little bit unfortunate. And on another day, we could have got a draw or a win, and I think we had a red card in one, and all sorts of things. So, no, we, as I said, we're, we're playing good football. We just got to focus on keep doing what we're doing and not overcomplicate it. I think. 
you mentioned before about reaching a peak at the right time. How far do you think we are from, from that peak? Do you think we're getting close or? Look, I'm, I'm not going to put percentages down like Graham Arnold or anything, but um, no, we're, I said, we're doing well. We're going to just stay grounded, and stay humble and, and not get ahead of ourselves because I know how quickly things can change. And as you mentioned before, we, the year we won it, we didn't win a game for the first nine games. So um, your form can go up and down and it's just, just about trying to be consistent and um, yeah, keeping momentum. Just on Saturday, Kurtz's side, they changed out of the back four, three of the four at the 64th minute. I thought that's really unusual. Have you ever seen that done before? And obviously that's telling a picture of where he thinks the side may be really vulnerable. I think uh, well, on their team, not that I know the, the insides of their squad, uh, everything, but uh, I know they've had a lot of injuries, of course, with uh, Robbie Cruz and um, Naboo only just coming back in for the, the second game there. And I think he's probably forced to play um, uh, some players in play positions that probably weren't first choice in his mind at the start of the year but um, I guess yeah that's up to them now and they're in a little bit of trouble near the bottom but um, I'm sure once they get some personnel back they'll be they'll be dangerous again. Is the boss telling you to calm down when you got games on the control? Because I, I, I seen the sense there was a rush to keep pushing for more when they, you didn't have to rush to actually you already had them by the throat. Yep. You could have got yourselves in trouble on the counter by being too many numbers up when you're 3-1 up and stuff like that. As he sort of said like calm down keep the ball I think sometimes the best I think the philosophy would be that sometimes the um, yeah the best way to defend is attack sometimes and um, I think you've seen that when we go 2-1 up or 3-1 up we could probably try and park the bus but uh, we keep pushing forward and um, yeah so a lot of the times it's worked so we'll keep going no, I'm not saying park the bus I'm saying yeah. keep the ball yeah because you kept losing the ball like you, <laughs> and, and you get caught in transition uh, we don't try and lose the ball but um, yeah, I think we, we do try and still attack, yeah.